Childhood Cancer Awareness Month is all about amplifying the voices of families and children who are fighting cancer and also boosting funding for research. Today, Elena is, say it Elena, cancer, cancer free. free. The victory comes four years after her diagnosis, but many children are still fighting their battle. Governor Brashear paid them a visit at Norton Children's Hospital Wednesday. How are you? Good. I'm Andy. The seventh floor of Norton Children's is a stark reminder of the thousands of children diagnosed with cancer in the U.S. each year. But stories like Elena's is a joyful reminder of the other side. I do occasionally think about like, what if I never had cancer, who would I be now? But I'm happy with the person I turned out to be and I'm optimistic about my future because of my diagnosis and my journey. As butterflies hover in the air, a symbol of hope in the main lobby of Norton Children's, Elizabeth Turner is hopeful about the future of cancer research. It's amazing to see what we're doing in Kentucky. She's helping other parents through her advocacy after her son, David, died at nine years old after a three-year battle with brain cancer. I'm a mom on a mission is just my effort to make him proud and continue to share his legacy so that other children facing cancer have options, they have treatments. Turner is the chair of the Kentucky Pediatric Cancer Research Trust Fund. This year, Governor Bashir secured $14 million in the state budget for cancer research, helping children battling the disease. I almost started crying. Um, just thinking about all the things that we're doing now and taking big steps forward for the future. We should all want to raise money, raise awareness, so that our children have a chance to grow up. DeAndrea Turner, WLKY News.